four. More from the man himself. We bring in Jim Russell, candidate for the 18th Congressional District. It's been an eventful day or so for you, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Um, well, first of all, answer me about the state of the campaign. Is it still active right oh, now? Oh, yes. It's, it's very active. We're very optimistic. We have a lot of calls coming in from people who want to volunteer and uh, assist us in this campaign. And we feel very optimistic about winning this campaign in November. Uh, well, I want to let you respond to the actual state uh, chairman and mm -hmm. also uh, the comments that came out in the fire summit of the last day. Uh, the comments were, we strongly condemn all of Jim's comments and certainly stand by none of what he wrote, which was racist and ethnocentric. And they went so far, Mr. Russell, as to call you a kook. That's your state party of which uh, you're the nominee. What's your response? Well, I don't think they know what they're talking about, and uh, I think their, their lack of informed judgment was amply demonstrated by their backing of uh, three t candidates at the top of the list uh, that lost in the last primary election. Well, obviously, you saw the front page of today's newspaper. First of all, some very strong language has been attached to you and has labeled you a racist and a bigot. What's your response? Well, it's totally incorrect. Uh, there's, there's, no, there's no real basis for that. The people who make these judgments or, uh, can see it. They didn't even read the documents in question. And uh, uh, it's really uh, uh, unfortunate that they're succumbing to a smear tactic by Nita Lowy to try to uh, compensate for her poor performance and her dwindling support in the polls. Well, let's talk about me. the research paper, and I'll let you have a chance to respond for yourself. Um, again, released 2001. I'm going to read in part what, uh, what you wrote. You said, while liberals and universalists constantly yammer about bringing us all together and how diversity is our strength, it may be suggested that the biological function of human language and culture is just the opposite, that is, to keep discrete groups apart. Well, that's basically what uh, every student learns in high school biology about Jim, how Jim, evolution. Jim, sure. I'm sorry. Are you saying that you regret writing that? Or are you saying keeping groups apart? No, no. It's, it's not a, a saying that that's what these uh, various features may do. That, that that's what different languages do. They keep. Uh, they they sometimes create. Uh, uh, some so you don't believe diversity is our strength? Oh, I certainly do, and I want to maintain diversity, and that's why it's uh, it's important well, to have you know allow independent groups to flourish. Okay, exactly. So you and, like uh, the idea of having schools that are integrated, marriages that are integrated? I think people should have a choice to uh, follow what they want to do and what they think is best. And I'm here today to address the most significant challenge facing us here in the 18th Congressional District. Jim, with all due respect, I've been is, doing this I've been doing this for almost 20 years right well, now. The all, biggest we, we, issue that people want to know no. from you when it's the front page story well, everywhere you turn is what kind of a person you are for all, well, sir, all that's constituents. That's, that's, that's the, the liberal media will continue well, well, to Well, Jim, your own party them. condemned you as a kook and a racist. That's because of the, of, of the pressure that's being brought on them by outside forces, and it's unfortunate they succumb to it. But you okay, know, but we, wait, we, we I, I economy, want you to. I, we have an economy is, in crisis today. You Richard. do have an economy, but nobody wants to have an idea that somebody wearing a white sheet or well, that could be that, an anti semite off, would be the person the running their district. There's no grounds for that, and you're just repeating things. Well, that I don't know where you're digging I'll up. I'll tell you exactly what I'm getting. Just, from your no own experts. words, from your own <laughs> words, in 2001, you wrote the following: In the midst of this onslaught against our youth, parents need to be reminded that they have a natural obligation as essential as providing food and shelter to instill in their children an acceptable, appropriate ethnic boundary for socialization and marriage. So you're telling me if I got a white kid in a school, my son or daughter, you don't think that they should be dealing with blacks, no, Jews, all, Hispanics, or anything else? No, Richard. We want each group to have a sense of its own heritage and its own culture as they're growing up. It's important to understand your own background before you can appreciate other people's backgrounds. And that is the gist of my essay. Well, you just finished saying an appropriate, finish. an appropriate ethnic boundary for socialization and marriage. What does that mean? That means that people should have a sense of their own cultural heritage. Okay. And what about people in your district uh, who are Jewish right now who sure. wonder that uh, what kind of a person they might consider voting for? And again, you wrote again in your paper, you cited yeah. T.S. Eliot and some of the conditions for an optimum society. And again, I quote, the population should be homogeneous. What is still more important is unity of religious background and reasons of race and culture combined to make any large number of free-thinking Jews undesirable. That's there must what, be a proper uh, balance between <laughs> urban, rural, industrial, and agricultural development 
in a spirit of excessive tolerance is to be deprecated. And that's what T.S. Eliot said. You put that's him it. in your paper, a paper, well, by the way, a that citation. the KKK references, and, and, and David do. You're going to assume that every every uh, website that picks up any document is, is Jim, is I guarantee document. you the KKK Please. isn't posting Please. any of my writings. Well, you never can tell. No, I can't. I can tell <laughs> you with complete certainty what I read right there. A, a normal person reading that would say, no. Jews, Blacks, interracial couples, that's I not think, what a I society think, ought to look like. I think really off topic. I mean, I'll let you speak about the Recovery well, you, and Reinvestment you Act you don't you, like, you but know. you have to answer the I, question. I've already to answered To anybody out there who says, wait a, a second. Research paper, a research paper do you stand nine behind or ten it? years Do ago, you stand behind your research paper? Or do you apologize for what's I haven't it? even read it recently. You wrote it. Yeah, nine years ago, right? I'm not out there digging things up on I'm other people. I'm giving you a chance, Jim. Do you condemn what's in it? No, I'm not going to pass judgment on my writings that I haven't read recently. I'm too busy resolving the economic crisis that confronts the people of the 18th Congressional District, and you're trying to take me off topic here. What do you believe a lawmaker should be held responsible for? Their own words? They should be re Should they be held responsible for what they say and what they write? You're about to tell me Nita Lowy is you know, doing something you, know, you disagree with for recovery and reinvestment. But do you stand by your own words? You're not even going to give me a chance to discuss this issue. Oh, I'll give I, you I a chance. I'll not. give you no, a chance. I'm asking you, though, <laughs> what is the threshold? Where does responsibility for one's own actions and words start well, it, it and depends, stop? It depends on the context. Jim, thank you very much. You're welcome.